Hey guys, welcome in. And I have made up a very different deck. A deck that I don't think many people have even seen anything like this before. And this is my first time trying it, so we're going up against the game. Um, Semi-relevant ghost takeaway Lucario Brazilian for the Zemus. Yeah, a pretty, a pretty decent, a pretty decent deck with this could be nasty. Now let's see. Let us see. So you can actually see I have like <laughs> my rating is super low from doing all those all of those um challenges and trying all sorts of crazy decks. And I'm just gonna go out defensive first with Primal Kyrogues. Now that I've finally pulled it, finally my first game with a PK, Primal Kyrogue. Feels good. Feels good. Now I don't have to worry about getting YOLO just right yet by a Marshadow. Um, like, normally I'll go out with a Finny, but nice to have that little bit of extra defense. So, that's cool. Lunala? Okay. And what else is nice? Blastoise is nice to help also deal with Lunala and things like that. I've got a decent size, big purple. Um, I wouldn't mind leveling up another Blastoise of mine and doing it all purple. Because actually the purple is very, very, very good. So I want to get out my Altaria, just because once the entry is shut, I won't be able to get any any of um, my, my, I won't be able to get my Altaria out. But if he moves, and he moves down, I'm going to be able to pull out my Finny, and put Finny right on the entry. Now I can just start throwing ones everywhere I want. Man, I love that about Finny. And if he attacks and I hit a, hit a blue, 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 blue um, I will... I will be going after him, but he, he knows what he, what's up, and he's going to be going back. So, okay. I want to just try and maneuver around now, and get myself into into position um, to actually cause some damage. So, I'm just going to get Manaphy out. So, I want to keep Manaphy in a protected area, and then when I've got Manaphy protected, okay, now he's setting up traps. So he, he realized the rush hasn't has failed and so now he's setting up traps. So that's alright, I can respect that. I can respect that. Decent player. So one other thing about why my rating has dropped so much, I keep getting like three hour boosters over the weekend. And so I just ended up putting AI on AI and man AI is just <sighs> AI lost me time on a match. It timed myself out when I had the win. I was three seconds ahead and it timed myself out and I was like AI, this is what you're meant to be good for. Frustrating times. Frustrating times. So, one thing, one thing that I've, I've not seen, I've, I've seen once, one person use Palkia. And this is something that I've been wanting to try. I haven't had all the pieces for the I've never had the Finny, I've never had the Primal Kyrogi, and those are ones that I've always felt like I was missing. But now that I've got them, I was like, this is a deck that I've been wanting to make. So, Primal, uh, Primal, so, um, Palkia is actually a very good matchup for all of these very annoying mons. So one thing you guys know that I like is that I love, oh yes, and he's doing, I was moving up the, so I could defend this around so I could attack him, but he's done, done it for me. So that's fine. I, I can be happy with that. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to attack into his Banette, looking for... Uh, his, that's, that's okay. I was looking for maybe my 130 into his uh, Destiny Bond or his damage. But the good thing is, is that I move to the bench. With Palkia, you keep moving to the bench. You don't get, you don't move to the PC. You don't, anything else. You just move to the bench. And I was like, oh, come on, give me purple. Not, not, not very good at all. Um, but what we will do is I want to move now. Um, I do have a double chance. Maybe I'm going to go after. Because I don't really want my... I don't want to use my Mikael Tyra just yet. But, and I don't want to lose it. So looking for my Pony Wish. Pony Wish is what I want. Pony Wish. Pony Wish. Pony Wish. Okay, I am going to banish his Benny. I normally... The, the Palkia Banette matchup is better than a lot of people think. But that's going to have to be, I'm going to have to do that in another video because I've just banished it. <laughs> but now, I want to get rid of that curse marker. I want to see if he comes down after me. Okay, I want to get rid of that curse marker. And who do I want to go for? 
I've got to watch out for that Marsh Shadow attacking me. But I also want to get Palkia out on board, but I can't get Palkia out now beside beside it because Finney's gone, so I need to clear the entry. So we'll see what my opponent does. I don't mind the takeaway area coming down near my Altaria. Um, but double chance. Oh, he's going for the take it. Wow. He can have that. I like. I've got a big purple. Well, he, he's going to have it. There we go. He got the roll he needed. So that's okay. Good on him. Good on him for making that play. And it pulled off for him. So <coughs> that is good. But I am going to try. Get my Palkia out. And I'm going to go after that Marsh Shadow. Just to get rid of it. And just to try and help cycle some Mons. Um, if, if he put his... I was gonna say if you can if you put his drift limb like right on the on the <coughs> entry point, that would be like perfect. I'll like take my shadow steps everything. But this will do. This is by far do. And shadow beam does nothing to Palkia because I got no purples. And now Lunala is useless. Verizian is nowhere near as good. And all I need to do is try and pick off that my shadow. So maybe he'll max revive here if he hasn't max revive. But <coughs> I want to go after that my shadow. Zemu. Oh, he's going after my... Okay, he's going after my... Okay, I respect that. Going after my Palkia. But the good thing is... Boom. I get attacked. I get knocked out. But I go to the bench. And I've still got nothing in my PC. So if I'm aggressive with Palkia, then my opponent's got nothing on me. And here, I'm just going to go up and see if I can attack. See if I'm looking for my purple here. Looking for my purple, I want to give everything the final song. Um, and I don't mind getting knocked out by grass knots or anything. And also I'm luring my opponent into surrounding me. So I'll take that as well. Although now they've got the final song, I'd rather not get taken out because I'm going to die anyway. But, so it would actually be good for him to surround me. Yeah. So fair enough. I get my Finny back though, and definitely worth it. And now I'm going to try and banish something else. So, let's go Finny. Let's go Finny. And... I should be wiping the board of all his mons in another turn. So I'm going to get my Blastoise back. Um, I'll, he, my opponent's going to be down two mons. Uh, down, down three mons. Banished one, two in the PC. And I'm going to have all bar, bar one of my mons. One of my mons in the... In the he moves back. Wow, well, wrong play to make. I'm going to move out with Palkia. And now get my... Look at that. Boom. Get my... Get my... Um, my Blastoise back. And now I've cleared the path in front of me so I can just go running on up the board with Palkia. And I'm going to do that. I am going to do that. I want to set up both sides. So so now's the time that my opponent is down once. I want to get perfect. Palkia, Palkia is going to be like my main man. Um, Palkia is going to do all the damage, all the hard work. Looking for white on white. On, that was on the moon glass beam. Um, <laughs> that, that could have been bad. And then all of, all of a sudden being like a three on four with the mana fee, which is, that doesn't really count as one. So looking for damage on damage here. I'll, I'll take a miss. I'll take a miss. Definitely take a miss. And we'll just keep on now. Now all I want to do is just keep pushing up. Just push, push, push. Keep pushing up. And, and I want to threaten his goal. Okay. So let's shut down this entry. And then I also want to get Finny up on his side of the board. Get Finny in some awkward positions. Make him attack into it. If I can get one more pony, goodbye. Either Ver Ver any of these that are on the board at the moment. Like, any of his mons are actually good to banish. So, boom. I'll take that, though. Blastoise. It is so nice. Finally being able to use Blastoise again. Blastoise was my first ever EX pool. My first ever EX pool. And it's nice that I've like, pulled the Mega for it. But also... Also, I can finally use him useful just as as him, his own. Ooh. And this is one other great thing about Palkia. So now, now that you're on the subject of Palkia, who knew Palkia would be this good? He attacks. He wastes his Z-move. And now I just bring Palkia straight back up. And he's just like, I wasted my Z-move for that. And now I'll, I'm still at a mon advantage. How, how, who knew... Palkia could have so much potential. 
I'm going to go out and just get my Finney in the action, looking for my blue or my purple against his goalie. If I can just push his Lucario back, then that'll be great. Um, and I could also, like, Z-move his Marshadow if it stays where it is. If it... No. Oh, come on. Purple. Blue, 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 blue. Not purple. <sighs> Goodbye, Finney. Goodbye, Finney. I can't win all the ropes. Um, but you did well, Finney. If I had got, if he had gold there, that is, that is another nice thing about Finney. Finney is a nice balance. It's not super OP. And I don't even mind, like, it's so nice having mons like Palkia. That you actually don't mind missing with. Like, that's why I love Delphox. I should want me, like, a Palkia Del Delphox deck. <laughs> It'll be nice. But, like, no, Palkia has to be used with a the water. Right? There's no way you can survive with it. Oh... Oh, although, although I can start moving some mons out, and if he keeps attacking, I can move up for surrounds. Maybe I should have gone on the other side. He's got switches and a hurdle jump. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to double chance here. The reason why I'm double chancing, I want white on white or purple on purple, because my purple will knock out his purple. So... Take that. Take that. My opponent has no gold block. Only... This is, this is one dangerous thing about overcommitting, and especially if you don't have a gold block. you got to always make sure... If you don't have a gold block, you got to make sure you don't overcommit. Because that... Ma See, a lot of people will think Blastoise is useless. But Blastoise is purple. That can KO purples lower than its star. It's actually really good. And really good if you can evolve it. But... So my opponent just goes for the old revenge. Ha! I would have taken your goal. You could have, would have, should have, but you didn't. And I think Blastoise deserves that. You can mega evolve for that Blastoise. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Man. Palkia though. Palkia. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this deck has potential? I'm going to rock this for a few videos. Just get to know the, get to know the ins and outs of, of this deck a little bit better. Play against maybe a few better players. Man, look at that rating. Look at that monthly rating. <laughs> Thanks, AI. Thanks, all sorts of crazy deck tests that I've been doing. Um, but this one. This one seems like it's promising. This one seems like it has potential, and I like that. I do like that a lot. So, maybe... Maybe we can get into this some more. I'll take my daily. Let me know what you guys think. And oh, gems. This is giving me gems because I'm giving Palkia some love. So let me know what you guys think. Love it. Absolutely love it. And let me know. I'll talk to you guys in the comments below. So we'll see you soon.